Good morning, it is Jane with Scraptastic Yarns, and today's Bible reading comes from Jeremiah 26 through 29. As always, let's open up with the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today thanking you and praising you for your grace. We know that it is only through your grace that we get through each and every day many times. Too many times days struggle seem to overtake us, but you're always there to remind us of your grace and that there is a greater glory. There is a greater reward waiting for us if we just believe and if we listen to your words and do what you ask of us. So Lord, we ask that everything we do is in your name and for your glory. Thank you, Lord, for that grace, for that saving grace that you give us. We say these words in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Jeremiah threatened with death. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak to all the cities of Judah. They come to worship in the house of the Lord all the words that I command you to speak to them. Do not hold back a word. It may be they will listen and everyone turn from his evil way, that I may relent of the disaster that I intend to do to them because of their evil deeds. You shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, If you will not listen to me to walk in my law that I have set before you, and to listen to the words of my servant, the prophets whom I send to you urgently, though you have not listened, then I will make this house like Shiloh. And I will make this city a curse for all the nations of the earth. The priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. And when Jeremiah had finished speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to all the people, then the priests and the prophets and all the people laid hold of him, saying, You shall die. Why have you prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate without inhabitant? And all the people gathered around Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. When the officials of Judah heard these things, they came up from the king's house to the house of the Lord and took their seat in the entry of the new gate to the house of the Lord. Then the priest and the prophet said to the officials and to all the people, this man deserves a sentence of death, because he has prophesied against the city, as you have heard with your own ears. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the officials and all the people, saying, The Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and this city all the words you have heard. Now therefore mend your ways and your deeds, and obey the voice of the Lord your God. And the Lord will relent of the disaster that he has pronounced against you. But as for me, behold, I am in your hands. Do with me as seems good and right to you. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will bring innocent blood upon yourselves and upon this city and in its inhabitants. For in truth the Lord sent me to speak sent me to you to speak all these words in your ears. Jeremiah spared from death. Then the officials and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve the sentence of death, for he has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. And certain of the elders of the land arose and spoke to all the assembled people, saying, Micah of Moresheth prophesied in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and he said to all the people of Judah, Thus says the Lord of hosts, 
Zion shall be plowed as a field. Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins, and the mountain of the house a wooded height. Did Hezekiah, king of Judah, and all Judah put him to death? Did he not fear the Lord and entreat the favor of the Lord? And did not the Lord relent of the disaster that he had pronounced against them? But we are about to bring great disaster upon ourselves. There was another man who prophesied in the name of the Lord, Uriah the son of Shemaiah from kiriath Jerem. He prophesied against this city and against this land in words like those of Jeremiah. And when King Jehoiakim, with all his warriors and all the officials heard his words, the king sought to put him to death. But when Uriah heard of it, he was afraid and fled and escaped to Egypt. Then King Jehoiakim sent to King sent to Egypt certain men, El El Nathan the son of Akbar and others with him, and they took Uriah from Egypt and brought him to King Jehoiakim, who struck him down with the sword and dumped his dead body into the burial place of the common people. But the land of ah Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, was with Jeremiah, so that he was not given over to the people to be put to death. The Yoke of Nebuchadnezzar in the beginning of the reign of Je Zedekiah, the king of Josiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Thus the Lord said to me, Make yourself straps and yoke bars and put them on your neck. Send word to the king of Edom, the king of Moab, the king of the sons of Ammon, the king of Tyre, and the king of Sidon, by the hand of the envoys who have come to Jerusalem, to Zedekiah, king of Judah. Give them this charge for their masters. Thus says the king, says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. This is what you shall say to your masters. It is I who by my great power and my outstretched arm have made the earth with the men and animals that are on the earth, and I give it to whomever it seems right to me. Now I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant. And I have given him also the beasts of the field to serve him. All the nations shall serve him and his son and his grandson until the time of his own land comes. Then many nations and great kings shall make him their slave. But if any nation or kingdom will not serve this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and put its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon, I will punish that nation with the sword with famine and with pestilence, declares the Lord, until I have consumed it by his hand. So do not listen to your prophets, your diviners, your dreamers, your fortune tellers, or your sorcerers who are saying to you, You shall not serve the king of Babylon, for it is a lie that they are prophesying to you, with the results that you will be removed far from your land, and I will drive you out, and you will perish. But any nation that will bring its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, I will leave on its own land to work it and dwell there, declares the Lord. To Zedekiah king of Judah I spoke in like manner. Bring your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him and his people and live. Why will you and your people die by the sword, by famine, by pestilence, as the Lord has spoken concerning any of the nation that will not serve the king of Babylon? Do not listen to the words of the prophets who are saying to you, You shall not serve the king of Babylon, for it is a lie that they are prophesying to you. I have not sent them, declares the Lord, but they are prophesying falsely in my name, with the result that I will drive you out and you will perish, you and the prophets who are prophesying to you. Then I spoke to the priests and to all this people, saying, Thus says the Lord, Do not listen to the words of your prophets who are prophesying to you, saying, Behold, the vessel of the Lord's house will now shortly be brought back from Babylon, for it is a lie that they are prophesying to you. Do not listen to them. Serve the king of Babylon and live. Why should this city become a desolation? 
If they are prophets, and if the word of the Lord is with them, then let them intercede with the Lord of hosts, that the vessels that are left in the house of the Lord, in the house of the king of Judah, and in Jerusalem may not go to Babylon. For thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the pillars of the sea, the stands, and the rest of the vessels that are left in this city, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, did not take away when he took into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, concerning the vessels that are left in the house of the Lord, in the house of the king of Judah, and in Jerusalem. They shall be carried to Babylon and remain there until the day when I visit them, declares the Lord. Then I will bring them back and restore them to this place. Hananiah the False Prophet In that same year, at the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, Hananiah the son of Azar, the prophet from Gibeon, spoke to me in the house of the Lord in the presence of the priests and all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will bring back to this place all the vessels of the Lord's house, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried to Babylon. I will also bring back to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah. And all the exiles from Judah who went to Babylon, declares the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to Hananiah the prophet in the presence of the priests and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord. And the prophet said, And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. May the Lord do so. May the Lord make the words that you have prophesied come true and bring back to this place from Babylon the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles. Yet hear now this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who preceded you and me from ancient times prophesied war, famine, and pestilence against many countries and great kingdoms. As for the prophet who prophesies peace, when the word of that prophet comes to pass, then it will be known that the Lord has truly sent the prophet. Then the prophet Hananiah took the yoke bars from the neck of Jeremiah the prophet and broke them. And Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, Even so I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all the nations within two years. But Jeremiah the prophet went his way. Some time after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke bars from off the neck of Jeremiah the prophet, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go tell Hananiah. Thus says the Lord, You have broken the wooden bars, but you have made in their place bars of iron. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put upon the neck of all these nations an iron yoke to serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, for I have given to him even the beasts of the field. And Jeremiah the prophet said to the prophet Hananiah, Listen, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have made this people trust in a lie. Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I will remove you from the face of the earth. This year you shall die, because you have uttered rebellion against the Lord. In that same year, in the seventh month, the prophet Hananiah died. Jeremiah's Letter to the Exiles These are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem to the surviving elders of the exiles and to the priests, the prophets, and all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had taken into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. This was after King Jeconiah and the queen mother, the eunuchs and the officials of Judah and Jerusalem, the craftsmen, 
and the metal workers had departed from Jerusalem. The letter was sent by the hand of Elisa, the son of Shaphan, and Gamariah, the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, the king of Judah, sent to Babylon, to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. It said, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the exiles whom I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat their produce. Take wives and have sons and daughters. Take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage, that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply there and do not decrease. But seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare you will find your welfare. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Do not let your prophets and your diviners who are among you deceive you, and do not listen to the dreams that they dream. For it is a lie that they are prophesying to you in my name. I did not send them, declares the Lord. For thus says the Lord, When seventy years are completed for Babylon, I will visit you, and I will fulfill to you my promise, and bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Because you have said, The Lord has raised up prophets for us in Babylon. Thus says the Lord concerning the king who sits on the throne of David, and concerning all the people who dwell in this city, your kinsmen who did not go out with you into exile. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I am sending them on sword, famine and pestilence, and I will make them like vile figs that are so rotten they cannot be eaten. I will pursue them with the sword, famine, and pestilence, and will make them a horror to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse, a terror, and a hissing, and a reproach among all the nations where I have driven them. Because I did not pay attention to my words, declares the Lord, that I persistently sent to you by my servants, the prophets. But you would not listen, declares the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, all you exiles, whom I sent away from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, concerning Ahab, the son of Kaliah, and Zedekiah, the son of Messiah, who are prophesying a lie to you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall strike them down before your eyes. Because of them this curse shall be used by all exiles from Judah and Babylon. The Lord make you like Zedekiah and Ahab, whom the king of Babylon roasted in the fire. Because they have done an outrageous thing in Israel, they have committed adultery with their neighbors' wives, and they have spoken in my name lying words that I did not command them. I am the one who knows, and I am witness, declares the Lord. Shemaiah's false prophecy. To Shemaiah Nehalam, you shall say, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. You have sent letters in your name to all the people who are in Jerusalem, and to Zephaniah, the son of Messiah, the priest, and to all the priests, saying, The Lord has made you priest instead of Jehoiada, the priest, to have charge in the house of the Lord over every madman, who prophesies, to put him in the stocks and neck irons. Now why have you not rebuked Jeremiah of Anatoth, who is prophesying to you? For he is sent to us in Babylon, saying, Your exile will be long. Build houses and live in them, and plant gardens, and eat their produce. 
Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the hearing of Jeremiah the prophet. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Send to all the exiles, saying, Thus says the Lord concerning Shemaiah of Nehalem, Because Shemaiah prophesied to you when I did not send him, and has made you trust in a lie, therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah of Nehalem and his descendants. He shall not have any one living among this people. He shall not see the good that I will do to my people declares the Lord, for he has spoken rebellion against the Lord. And that is it for today's Bible reading. As always, be kind to one another, love one another, get out there and see this big, beautiful world we live in, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.